All right, so to get started, we're gonna click the plus sign down at the bottom, hit new sketch. We're gonna use the same preset of 1800 by 2400 pixels, and you can make your composition vertical or horizontal, that's up to you. Hit create, and it'll bring you over to your canvas. All right, so in this video, we're going to set up our tool and our situation for creating a character sort of head on, like if the character's standing there looking at us. And to do this, we're gonna be using a new tool called the Symmetry Tool. I think you're really going to like it. If you've had no other experience creating characters before, I would highly recommend using the Symmetry Tool that I'm going to show you. But if you have some experience and you wanna create something that's a little bit more dynamic, has some movement, has a gesture line per se, feel free to do that and therefore you might not want to use the Symmetry Tool. Either which way, we are going to change our tool from the technical pen to one of our pencils. Now you can use any pencil that you like, it's, it's up to you, but I would recommend this first one right up here, which is our primary pencil. You can find that also in the library as the very first thing in the basic kit. All right, so we're gonna use primary pencil. And instead of black, we are actually going to use a color, like a colored pencil really, to sketch this out. And I would recommend um, any color <laughs> except black or gray. I'm gonna go with a blue because it's easy on the eyes. Some, some kind of light blue like that. Maybe a little bit darker towards like, there we go. Um, again, just not black or gray. Okay, because we're gonna do our line work in black and it can get a little confusing. All right, so if you wanna start sketching right with that, go for it. I am looking to see um, the whole character from the top of the head to the feet, whatever that means. Remember, it doesn't have to be human or anything like that. Um, but to set up that symmetry tool so you can draw like both sides at once, you're going to find that symmetry tool right up here. Okay, so it's the one, two, three, four, fifth one in, and it looks like a dotted line with like two little squiggles that are symmetrical. <laughs> so when I click on that, you're going to see all these controls pop up. Before you do anything, make sure that your controls are the way you're gonna need them. So we're actually going to have that first selection highlighted, and that's gonna create this vertical line here um, for us. So whatever I do over here is gonna happen on the other side, which is pretty awesome. Now, if I go back, your settings might be, if you played with this before, they might be different. So I just wanna show you that before we move forward. So I have got vertical symmetry. I can also have horizontal symmetry, I think. Yeah, so that should happen in all of our corners. And then if I click this one, it's gonna create a radial symmetry, which means that it's going to go around in a circle, which is pretty awesome. And I can change the number of sections. And we're gonna talk about this later in a different project. Now, um, <laughs> let me go back. I don't wanna see that there. I will tell you if I, well, let's do the radial one. I have here already, mine is locked. So if I unlock that, you're gonna see this circle, most likely in yours, because it won't be locked. And that circle, if you click on it, you can move this around. So if I wanted it to be over there and to have this effect over in the corner, I could, right? Now that's great, but sometimes you'll be drawing and then you'll accidentally like move it and then it's, it's not gonna line up anymore. And that's what that lock is for. Once you click that lock, you can't move those lines anymore. So I'm gonna go back and set this up and then we'll lock it together. All right, so I'm gonna unlock. I'm gonna grab the first one only, the Y symmetry up and down because we're going to be drawing our character in this direction. And then I'm gonna hit that lock. See that circle's there? If I hit the lock, the circle disappears. If your composition is the other way, just do whatever one makes sense for it to be vertical. Okay. All right. So next up, you start sketching. <laughs> All right. And my advice to you is to plan out your use of space a little bit. Envision the bottom of your character being here and the top of your character being there. This could be the head and the feet or something else. Okay. And remember, whatever you're going to do, let's say, let's put the head here. I can draw on both sides. I can also just draw out from that, right? Here's my head. This could be my shoulders, here's my waist, my hips, right? And then I can think about like my legs coming down, maybe some feet. <laughs> it's pretty crazy feet right there. 
all right? And it does take some getting used to, right? Because look at that weird curve, right? Maybe those aren't human feet, right? Think of that. Okay, so play around. That's my other bit of advice for you. Play around, but break up this space again so the top of your character is here, the bottom is here. And what you don't want to do is to make your head here and then your shoulders here and then you have no room for the rest of your character. So you might want to zoom in and play around a little bit. Make sure that you sort of plan out shoulders, hips, knees, that sort of thing. Okay? What's also is really cool about this is that, especially for faces, this is really going to be helpful. So let me just draw a little quick face here for you. So this is my top of my skull. I'm going to use the whole thing. And my jaw coming down. I've got my eye line, my nose, my mouth, maybe my hair. What I can do, again, it's going to draw on both sides. So maybe like here is my eye socket, right? How cool is that? And I can like carve out this use of space both sides at once. If you've done any kind of drawing, you're going to know that uh, it's really hard to make your eyes match. But this can be rather helpful. Okay, so play around, have some fun before you do anything serious is my advice to you because you can really get lost in this symmetry and have a good time. All right. Oh, see, look, I'm getting lost, having some fun. <laughs> so be playful, see what happens. Let's give her some hoops. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. And, you know, start a new layer, turn that off, try something again, have some fun, delete what you don't need and what you don't want. Now, this symmetry tool will only work if I have that highlighted. So if I unclick it, it's gone, right? So just be careful that you always have that on. Once you open that back up, you know, it'll come back. Okay, so that might be useful if you wanted to do like you have your head, you have your body, maybe you have symmetrical legs for whatever creature this is. Um, and then you wanted to give it a tail, put some hands but you didn't want two tails, <laughs> right? So you could turn this off and create a tail for yourself. And then you only have it on that one side. All right, so that's just some bits of advice for you. And yeah, have fun, all right? So don't take this too seriously, like you've seen in some of my sketching so far. Really just enjoy the multiple uses of lines. We're gonna start a new layer on top for like our final line work later. All right, so just keep that in mind. Everything right now is on that one layer. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up my drawing here of my sketch that I'll use as an example moving forward. All right, so here you can see my little houseplant character that I've created. And you can see that I used all my space, right? I really filled up my composition. And I started out with big shapes. You can see like the circles, the construction lines that I started with. And then I started to break down my um, space a little bit more intentionally. Um, my advice to you is to spend some quality time um, go back. Don't forget you have that eraser if you wanted to erase any areas that were confusing to you. Um, play with your, not eraser, let me click over here. Play with your opacity maybe a little bit. I've been using the Apple Pencil, so when I press lightly, it's creating like a lighter line. When I press hard, it's creating a darker line. 
right? So if you're using a stylus, you might all have the same line quality. If you wanted to change that opacity, you could. All right, so in our next video, we are going to add our line work, but once you're done with your final sketch, you've basically got the gist of what you want. Go ahead and take a screenshot and submit. And then in our next video, we will tackle line work.